Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Brian Live. Today I will be showing you how to bleach your lace frontal or closure. You can use this same method. So today I went ahead and used 30 Volume Developer and Clairol Professionals. I used a mixing bowl from Sally's. I also used basic white bleach to mix in with the to, with the powder. And then I also used neutralizing shampoo. I'll also be using a brush to smooth in the bleach with. And I'll also have my frontal, which you guys will have a frontal or a closure. So I started off with two scoops of powder bleach to go into my mixing bowl. And then I just kind of poured the rest of my um, developer into the bowl, but I only had a little bit left, so I'm not sure how much it was, but I just began to mix to kind of see what that got me. You do need enough to fill up the back of your frontal, so you do need at least two scoops to go in this bowl. I did end up adding another scoop of the powder just to make the consistency a little bit thicker. So like I said, you just want to mix and text, test it out and then mix it and test it out. So at the end, as you can see, I have a kind of thick consistency. It's kind of dropping slowly. So I just said I wanted um, that type of consistency, you know, something thick, but not too thick. So I did hold my bowl over my frontal just so the bleach wouldn't get on the hair. And I just kind of spread it around um, generously. I did put a generous amount onto the hair. But yeah, so I just made sure it was all over. And um, I covered it with foil. Okay guys, so I had to wash it out, washed out the bleach because a little bit of it got like on my, on the edges of the frontal. I don't know if you can see it, but it's not that bad. I just didn't want it to go any further, but what I'm doing now is just kind of putting bleach on the areas that the knots didn't get. Um, bleach enough and I'm just kind of holding it up like this so that it won't get on the hairs because when I laid it down that's when it began to get on the hairs but as long as I'm holding it like this it's doing pretty good so um so I guess the trick to this is just making sure it's really, really thick. And as you guys see, mine was pretty thick, but I guess it wasn't thick enough because it's still um, kind of seeped through and got on the edges parts a little bit. But it's not bad at all, as you guys can see. It just kind of was getting like too far up right here, and I didn't want that. So I'm just going to go through and do this process like um, little by little, section by section and do that so yeah I'll be back and show you guys when I'm finished okay guys so I put like a light layer on just so you can see how light the layer is and what I'm doing is just kind of holding it because I really don't want it to get on my hair on the closure so because I feel like this is my first time doing it, but I feel like if you lay it down on its back, it kind of is going to seep through. And at least this way, I can kind of see and watch it turn color. So I think I'm just going to hold it and kind of just pull the hairs like pull it like this. So I know that it's not up against 
the lace. Cause see, you see how good you can see it from right here. So yeah, I think this is gonna be my technique. Cause you can't do what everybody else does all the time. It may not work for you. So I'm just gonna kind of pull it like this and just watch it change colors. Okay, so I'm just rinsing the bleach from the closure in a downward motion um, so that it doesn't rinse through the hair. It's just rinsing right out in the sink. And then I'm also rinsing it vertically just to get the residue off. And then I'm putting my neutralizing shampoo just to make sure that the bleach stops and it's all taken off properly. So I'm going in under the hair and I'm just scrubbing it really good. And with this neutralizing shampoo, it turns white when the, all the product is out. It will have a pinkish color if there's still, you know, bleach or if you're using a relaxer, relaxer, any kind of chemical, it'll still be pink if the chemical is in there. But when it turns white, that means that it's all out. So I just wash it until my shampoo in the suds is white. Okay guys, so the tint on this, it looks like the lace is already tinted because it's really like dark. So I'm dark skinned, so I kind of like that. But as you can see, it turned out really, really good. Um, it turned out really good. It's not brassy or anything. Um, and then if if you don't want it to be brassy, you can want to make sure it isn't brassy you can just get um the bleach that cancels out brass tones they have that bleach in the store but um yeah guys as you can see it turned out really really good not all of the knots are bleached but it's okay because but this is a pre-pluck closure, but I think I may just pluck some more. I don't know. I'll see. And you guys just stay tuned to see it. But um, I did get a little bit on like the edges and parts, but it's not much. So I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, for the most part, I really like it. So I just want to do um, an update on how this Hot Beauty hair washes. I am washing it right now. Um, and it just getting, because it does shed. And I'll show you guys at the end how much shedding came from all three bundles and the frontal. But as I'm washing it, it doesn't have any runoff. It doesn't have any dye or any type of smell, any type of residue. I did use herbal essence to wash my bundles, the frontal as well. Once I got finished neutralizing it, I did go ahead and shampoo and condition with the herbal essence. Um, as you can see, the water is clear. It's running really, really clear. The hair was really, really soft. It didn't really have any tangles, but it did have a little bit of shedding. And like I said, I will show you guys the shedding at the end.
please comment down below if you guys have any questions. If there's anything you all want to see me do on this hair, I will be showing you guys if you just leave your um, request down in the comment section. Also, if you guys want to see how I make construct my frontal wigs, please comment that down below. Um, please, 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 guys, comment. Let me know what you want to see. I can't do it unless you guys say it. So I'm here for you all. And just leave that down below in the comment section. So like I said, this is the shedding from the frontal and the three bundles. So this was a small amount. So I'm happy that it did not shed a lot hopefully that is you know the bulk of the shedding right there which like i said is nothing at all so i'll see you guys in the next video and i hope you all enjoyed this one bye